Morning guys, welcome to another one. Um, this is a bit of a kitchen install, so I thought it was quite an interesting video. So um, let's see how we get on. This is part way through the video, because I didn't do an opening, but I'll show you this, so let's get on. Quite wish that chippy would shut up, it's so bloody noisy. Can you stop? I'm trying to film! Make sure you um, peel off the double-sided sticky tape, um, unlike me here, which you'll see. So these LEDs will eventually be switched from a switch here, a two gang switch on the wall here. So you've got kitchen lights and the under covered LED lights, which is quite nice. And this is the driver for the LEDs, which I'm gonna mount above the cupboards there in an accessible panel. Right, so effectively nowadays we've done away with all spurs and stuff on show and it's nice to have it in a cupboard. So here you've just got like a hob um, supply and a ring main and all the radials which will do like a dishwasher washing machine and I'm going to mount them all in separate boxes there. Um, yeah, just less on show. So here you've got an integrated fridge freezer, um, oven, hob above and then a dishwasher. Twenty five mil holes, and then I just uh, pilot them with a little three mil bit, just so it bites into them. Um, they like melamine wood a little bit. Easier. Okay, so starting from the top, you've got the hob, um, and then different supplies: the oven, uh, dishwasher, microwave, two sockets on the ring main there. Um, okay, so we've got a deep box for the um, hob. That's wired in a six mil, in and out. We've then got normal size boxes, which I'm just waiting for. They're coming. Just bounce your ring main. So this is your kitchen ring, which has two sockets there, and your ring main here. Bounce that round these. We've now got oven, oven there. Uh, this is the extractor microwave, dishwasher, and fridge freezer, fridge freezer, dishwasher, and just second fix all your switches. These are the um, switch fuse spurs and you just put your, put your um, fuse in that you need and on the end of the cable you just fit a, like for instance there, you just fit a flex outlet plate and you can put your microwave straight in. These are all integrated so you don't want a fuse behind the thing, that's why you have your fuse here, so it's accessible. While I'm here, this is the little um, undercovered light setup, so you've got your little transformer there. These are good for um, 6 watts, and those little LEDs are 1.8, so you can put three off of here, which I've done here. Little junction box, and then your little lighting cable coming in. This is all going in boxed in and then with a removable panel so you can access this 
and this boiler flue which they've taken out up and through the roof. So these LED lights you just um, get the cabinet man or whoever's fitting these to fish these up behind and then leave them hanging over the top so when we come in do our bit we can easily get to the cables. Down here I'm going to fit a box for this um, hob. Hob's wired in 6mm and it will go in this gap up here. And this is then the oven um, 2.5 for the oven which goes on a flex outlet plate. And this goes on a 45 amp flex outlet plate just for the um, loading. And then here you're going to have an integrated dishwasher. So all you do is fit your socket in there. And then they can just loop the plug over the top through a hole and then straight into there. And you don't have to have a flex outlet on this one, you can leave this because this is accessible. So if the fuse does blow in the plug, you can get to it because it is under the sink. Okay, I've had to cut and refix a new box in here because the kitchen got brought out two inches. It was chased in and flushed in, but now we fit this and I'll now fix my flex outlet to that. Just starting a second fix these switches. Uh, 5 amp double pole for the hob, just normal switch fuse spurs. Yeah, just make sure you get your cables in the right order. Yeah, so it's going well. Look, a delivery doorbell, transformers, normal main flat plated stuff that I need to finish all the second fixing. Superb. The oven connection is done, I've left that loose, ready for the oven to be connected. The 45 amp deep with a double with a um, cooker connection unit is done. So that can be um, I've connected the six men on, I can now connect the hob up. Um, you know when you've been in a cupboard too long and you've had enough. You know when you've been in a cupboard too long and you've had enough. This is one of those bloody times. Knees are hurting. I keep bending down. Lovely. So the kitchen I did yesterday. Same switches in the top there. And then you can see the other cabinet holes look quite nice. And then it's switched from here. So it nice. Gives it a nice effect. They're the two lights that you get on the extractor. They're actually cool white. While I'm here, I may as well show you. This is like a riser cupboard that runs up the two floors and then up to the roof. And this is where we brought all our stuff. We have a tray in, 12 inch tray, armoureds, and then you've got aerials. And all the door access stuff is going to go here. And the uh, damper for the smoke vent up there. Power pack and the satellite. All the satellite stuff will come in here. You'll have TV amplifiers, satellite um, switch box, stuff like that. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's getting there, this one now. Just as Kimmy and Wary to do now really and a bit more second fixing in the flats. Okay, it's one of the other kitchens I've done this week. Hence why I'm a bit heat off with these now. But yeah, quite a nice kitchen actually. And last but not least, the fourth kitchen I've done this week. Which is, this is a double stack microwave and oven. Oh, flex out there for the extractor hood. Boilers in this one, in this one, so I've still got that to do. Oh really? That looks really strange, that number plate off to the left there. No, I haven't seen one of them yet, but look at that, it's really strange. Mutated discovery. Alright guys, that's the end of the video, end of the day. I've just stopped to get a coffee from the garage. Happens to be Waitrose, really nice coffee. 
Um, I've got my first product review coming up. Someone's sending me something, um, which is quite exciting for the channel. So um, keep keep a lookout for that video. Some guy mentioned he uh, um, maybe an external microphone. I might do that. I might look into one of those for the phone because I'm just filming on my phone at the minute. So I, you know, I might get into it seriously. But I just it is serious. But you know what I mean. Once you start bringing cameras and stuff, it gets into serious then. Um, so yeah, thanks for the new subs. Thanks to the old guys coming back, and um, I'll see you on the next job, boys. Take care.